G'day guys, welcome to the episode. Today I've just come in from a surf and I'm really keen because I'm going either car camping or boat camping tomorrow. Either way, I'm going camping, so I'm psyched. I put on my Instagram, boat camping or car camping. You can see, boat camping is winning right now. It's got 26 votes, six votes for car camping. I like doing them both, but I think boat camping is gonna win. And whichever one has the most votes in the morning is what I'm doing, I'm letting you guys decide. Which I feel is really cool, I'm letting you guys in control of what, what I do, basically. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna go home and pack all my stuff, get it ready for tomorrow, and when I wake up, whichever one's got more votes, I'm going, if it's the boat, putting the trailer on it, and we're getting out there. I'm keen, yeah, I think boat camp's gonna win. It just sounds sounds better, I guess. And I'm really keen to do that. If car camping wins, I'm so keen to go car camping as well. I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning, and I'll tell you what we're doing. You. You beauty, looking pretty beauty. Full. <laughs> oh, pretty early, still dark. Just hooked the boat up. So now I'll get the camping stuff in the boat. We'll get down to the boat ramp. I'm keen. Ready to go, everything's packed in, got my swag. Can't see it because it's too dark, but the swag's in there. Tug box, just gotta get some ice. Just got some ice from the servo, got a bit of breakfast, this is all I'm having. And then once, once I've finished this, it's no food, no bait, just basically fending for myself. All right, everything's in, bum plugs in, thank God. Battery's on, ready to go. Just gotta get some rope ready. So I'm ready to go at 7 a.m. There's no one on the water though, because it's a weekday. But I'm, I'm keen to get out there. No bait, no food. So we've got to catch bait first. I don't know what I'll do, maybe throw lures. It's hard in this water, just because it's so dirty. But yeah, we'll, we'll go out there, try and get some. And anyway, I'll see you in the water. Ew. anything else than flathead. My mate dropped a few off to me that he makes, so I thought I'd give him a try and see if I can get anything. The water's poo brown, so I don't know if it'll go very well, but we'll just give it a go and see what happens. So I'm keeping it in neutral, just because we're so, so close to the rocks and I'm by myself. You know, if I need to get out of the way, I just want to be able to just hit it instead of having to turn my motor on. Just in case, there are a few ways, it's a bit swelly. That's the spot right there. Salmon waiting for me right there. This really isn't going to plan. I should have brought bait, but I thought I'd challenge myself <laughs> and I regret it so much, but I'm gonna plan. I'm gonna go into a little bay and just catch some crabs, snails, whatever I can find, just quickly jump in the water. It's absolutely freezing. My sound is saying it's 13 degrees in the water. I'm just gonna jump in my undies, get onto the beach, find some stuff I can use as bait, and just, yeah, come out here, use as bait, just so I can catch a little fish and then use that as proper bait. Because, yeah, I'm not liking my chances out here, but <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do, I guess it's gonna be funny. <laughs> it's gonna be damn cold, but I'll see you when I get into there. I'm not even gonna take my GoPro or a buck, I'm just gonna take just <laughs> my boardies. Just gonna, cause I've got pockets, I'm just gonna put the crowns in my pockets. Swim back. Hopefully I can find enough on that rock. Hopefully I don't have to go to the sides of this bay to get stuff. But uh, just wish me <laughs> Just wish me luck. <laughs> this is uh, This is my own fault. I didn't bring bait. I wanted a challenge, so just gotta oh here we go. Should I do it like a band-aid, just jump in and do it quicker or should I? I don't know. <laughs> oh I probably look like the biggest wuss right now, but uh alright. Oh, 
Well, I got the best I could do. I couldn't find any crabs for some reason, but I've got heaps of periwinkles, which are snails. So we've got some bigger ones, and now I've got some smaller ones with a small snail in them. But better than nothing, hopefully they'll still work. If I can catch a small fish in shallow with these, because they're used to this food, then I can take that fish out and catch bigger, bigger fish, hopefully. It wasn't too bad, but it was cold getting in and swimming to the rocks, but once I got onto the rocks and swam back, I was kind of, I was fine. It was nice though, refreshing. But yeah, first jump in, I was, that was cold. <laughs> Little snails, periwinkles, you have to crack them open, obviously, to get the snail out. But I'm sure, I'm sure if I just put a little hook down, one of my rods with a snail on it, I'll get a Maori wrasse or something similar that I can chop him up, take it out deeper, and hopefully get some snapper or something. I don't even know what the time is, but it's probably about 10 o'clock, I reckon. Oh, you know, we do some weird things for fishing, but... <laughs> back around to the island. I thought I'd just drop here because I know there's fish here. Just got a couple bites so I'm hoping, just hoping I can get a fish on board. <laughs> That's all I want, just the fish on board. I don't think I'm asking for too much. Finally, that guy is a crimson wrasse. Unfortunately, mate, you're gonna be my bait today, I think. I could let him go. They're pretty fish, you know? They got the spots and stuff, but I think he's gonna be my bait today. <laughs> what the hell, my bait just got smashed. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Snapper! He's too small, but that's so funny. I just had a bit of the crimson wrasse that I caught out, hit the bottom and just got smashed. And I was like, what the hell? Maybe I've got a good fish. I was in the rod holder the whole time. Little snapper. Beautiful fish. See you, mate. Tell your friends, your bigger friends, to come and, come and have a go. Come on. Ready? Yeah. There we go. That feels good. <laughs> Straight away. Well, at least we know we're on snapper grounds. At least we know they like crimson wrasse. Let's hope we can get a big one. Phew. Oh, yes. That was a big freaking boy. This is a snapper. That was a big bite. I've got some tiny little bites in. Oh, that feels good. It almost ripped the freaking rod out of my hand. Come on. Show me some good colour. No, that's wrong colour. Oh, it's alright, but it's alright colour. Yeah. That's a good size pig fish. Nice. That's my PB. Not the snapper I was after, but I'm happy with that. My PP pig fish, beautiful fish, beautiful eating. So here we have the lunch or dinner. I won't use them as bait though, but I'm happy with that. So I need a couple more fish probably for a good size lunch and dinner. But first good fish on board, so I'm happy with that. Eww. Straight on ice, the best thing you can do for your fish, straight on the ice, cool them down. That'll be a beautiful dinner. I'm just gonna go out to about 60 meters. I'm not really catching much. I've got a tiny bit of bait left. Just see what I can catch. I might not catch much. Hopefully I can catch a bit more bait because I need bait for tonight when I'm fishing. When I'm sleeping on the boat. So hopefully I get to a bit more. I could try in shallow to try and get a sergeant maker. That's probably or rasses. That's probably a better idea, but I'm not the best with ideas. <laughs> Nanny guy for sure. I felt that hit. 
before. It could be the right size, but it's pretty heavy. Nice size nanny guy. He's not huge, but he's probably my PB for this boat. I'll keep him. Nice little white fill fillets off that guy. I don't know what I've got on right now. It kind of had a big hit and then it kind of stayed on the hook. And it's kind of running, not really. Might be a big red rock called or Sergeant Baker. Or big nanny maybe. Big sweep. Perfect bait, but I'm not complaining. Bringing everything in, it's three o'clock. I'm gonna have one last fish in shallow. Um, where I've fished before, just to see if I can get a Sergeant Baker or something. Good, there'll be a good long flash of jewies. I've got a bit of, bit of this sweep left, which will be fine jewy bait. Not the best, but not the worst as well. I'm in the river on the public mooring, well one of them, there's a fair few of them. And this is where we're sleeping tonight, this is a proper boat camp mission, <laughs> like sleeping on the boat. Swag, on the boat. This is sick, but I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, like I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty nervous about my first time boat camping. I did want a mate to come with me, um, like a good mate, and they were working, so, so I'll come by myself. Just go solo, solo mission. <laughs> Well, if that's not a setup, I don't know what is. I moved everything to that side because <laughs> my zipper's on this side, so I couldn't have even got in from the other side. And yeah, I put the um, mooring rope to the front because the tide changed and it wrapped around the engine and it was weird. It's actually, <laughs> it's actually that comfy. The only thing that I'm kind of nervous about is the rocking. I don't think I'll get seasick. I don't take seasick tablets. I don't. I haven't got seasick in ages, but you're looking up and it's just rocking. It's not too bad though. I've slept on a boat before in the Great Barrier Reef and stuff, so hopefully it'll be all right. I don't even need to say anything. Wow, this is amazing, <laughs> legit. This is so sick. I just love when you can just take in how beautiful some places are and like you don't sometimes you don't realize it but then when you're out here it's just it's just amazing you know that i'm the queen of overthinking it's like we're done before we even started so if this is the end now baby know that i gave him my all i believe in us i won't give up on you i will be holding on for life hope you believe in us please don't give up on me at least give me a try cause you're the best thing the best thing you're the best thing that i've ever had you're the best thing the best thing The last bit of light left, I'm gonna cook some dinner, cook that pig fish, and keep the nag eye for breakfast. I'm actually starving, but like, I'm more hungry than I was on the island. <laughs> I'm full on just starving. Anyway, if you wanna watch that island video, click up here. I did bring some, some spices from the bald chef, my mate, because even I said no food, technically that's not food. Like, I can't, I can't survive off that, so I wasn't gonna be able to eat it. You know, it just adds a bit of flavor to the fish, so I'll sprinkle a bit of that on, put some oil in, and crispy skin pig fish. Oh, I didn't bring splay. Oh, I didn't bring a fork. That's all right. My hands, they're all right. Mexican spice, Greek spice mix, salt and pepper. So obviously I wouldn't be able to 
eat that by itself. So I'm just going to sprinkle a bit on top of each. Make sure that's nice and hot. Gas heats up really quick, so put this guy face down. I just quickly took the head off because it did not fit with the head. I didn't even think about that. I'll give that five to 10 minutes probably. This is living. Just gonna have a quick little taste. Don't tell anyone. I waited 12 hours for that, but that, that is so good. Fresh pea fish, caught today, put straight on ice. Oh, it is nice. It's getting pretty cold actually, so this is gonna, it's gonna warm me up real nicely. I gotta admit, I impress myself sometimes. <laughs> that is so good. Not many people would have eaten pea fish, I don't reckon, unless you have a boat. Because I don't really see it getting sold much. You don't hear about it much, you hear about snapper a lot and stuff like that. But pigfish, very underrated fish. Beautiful, beautiful white flesh. I reckon just as good or if not better than snapper. They so so hot, but so good. That is so nice. Definitely gonna fill me up. I already know. Oh. Ow. I guess not eating all day, kind of, just makes you realise how good fresh fish is. Cooking it here just, just makes it amazing, honestly. This is that good, but I'm full on just devouring it. <laughs> I'm going to finish this. I'll see you in about 10 minutes. That was freaking good, but I'm still fairly hungry. I hate these no food challenge. I want to bring chocolates. Uh, anyway, I'll be right. I'll be right till the morning. Then I'll have the nanogar. If I get the nanogar now, then I'll be starving in the morning. So I'll just, I'll just wait. Fill me up a fair bit, but, but like, I'm just craving sweets right now. <laughs> Ice cream or something. Anyway, it's all good. So I'll probably just chill out for a bit. Um, sit in my swag, and if I hear my any of the drags go off, obviously I'll get up. And, Catch the fish, but um, yeah, whatever happens, I'm keen though. <laughs> this is so cool. I'll turn the light off button, just chill out on my phone. That's about it for a bit, anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, whoop, it's 11 o'clock. I stayed up for a while, but I don't think I even stayed for the tide change. The tide changed about half an hour ago. Nothing, not a touch. So I'm gonna bring the rods in and head to bed so I can still get a bit of a sleep. Be up at six o'clock tomorrow before the sunrise. Anyway, I'll pack up and I'll see you guys tomorrow. You ready, Michael? See you in two days. Bye, son. I'm sorry. Sorry, mate, but you just. I don't know what this is. I think it might be a Gernard. Someone in the comments give me a fish ID for that. He's going back. It's a pretty cool fish, but. Mate, happy with that? Not. <laughs> Come on, mate. Whoa, what the? F He's trying to buy me. My clears aren't very clear. <laughs> Why are they called clears when they're <laughs> blurry? Damn. <laughs> oh my god.